This video will take you through the skeletal hand, the right hand, of an anterior view. That's a plastic skeleton of the hand. First will be the phalanges. There are five of them, with the thumb being the first of the phalanges, or phalange. Looking at these, the second through the fifth have three bones in them, right there. The first phalange of the thumb has only two with the middle phalanx missing. Check your lecture textbook for more details. The carpal bones there are the palm bones, covered of course with soft tissue forming the palm of the hand. Now I'll take a look at the carpal bones. These are the bones that are connected between the forearm and the metacarpals. The first of these, taking a look at the lunate bone, this articulates with the ulna, that kind of rhymes. To move over here to the scaphoid bone, that articulates with the radius, a very large bone. Then to take a look at these now, to go through those that articulate with the phalange. First here is a trapezium located at the base of the thumb. Then going to the index finger or the second digit, that's the trapezoid bone. Notice the difference between trapezium at the thumb and trapezoid there at the base of the index or second finger. The third will be the capitate articulating at the base of the middle finger or the third digit. And then going outward the hamate bone articulates with the fourth and fifth digits or phalanges. It has a club on it or a hammer handle. And then two bones at the end here I'll have two views on. This little one that protrudes off is the pisiform bone, a small bone to turn the carpals around looking a little closer. The pisiform there articulates with the with the triquetrium bone, that one right there. And then the outer one here again being the pisiform bone. So review this video over and over again because learning carpal bones can be very detailed and complicating. It takes a lot of practice. Again, don't forget that. In this video I'll take you through the right hand posterior view. Here's a plastic skeletal hand. The metacarpals are the palm bones right there. The phalanges I covered in the previous video. The carpal bones here, the trapezium at the base of the thumb or the first digit. Next going inward would be the trip would be the trapezoid. Notice it's different than the trapezium. It articulates with the base of the second digit or index finger. Third going inward, the capitate articulates with the middle finger or third digit, all of that bone there. And then the fourth of these would be the hamate. It will articulate with the fourth and fifth digits. Then for the two lateral bones there, the trichretrum right there. And then the other one would be the pisiform right there, the very small edge one that protrudes out the most medial part of your wrist. Here's the lunate that articulates with the ulna. Again, they kind of rhyme, ulna and lunate. And then the scaphoid bone that articulates with the radius. Those would be the carpal bones. Practice this video over and over again because carpal bones can be very difficult to learn. Repetition will be your best teacher.